Cancer can have a huge impact on your life because although the treatments we have for cancer work really well, unfortunately many of them can make you feel really unwell for the periods of time that you're getting the treatment. Fortunately, we can do a really good job these days of dealing with side effects of your cancer. So it's not going to be the same, but once the cancer treatment is done, our goal is to get you back into normal life as soon as possible. I would get to school and I always feel like I wanted to go to sleep. I was just really, really tired and I was always nauseated. Nausea, that was the worst. Those medicines uh, ended up causing a lot of side effects in my body. I had uh, teflitis, which is where my bowels were infected and it caused me not to eat for 15 days and drink. And that was pretty hard on me because at that time I was losing 10 pounds from the whole steroids and everything they gave me in the beginning. So after those 10 pounds, well, not having to eat or drink anything, that caused it even worse. So after uh, probably like four months, I ended up being way too like over underweight than you, normal kids. So I had to put a tube in my nose. You don't really sleep well at night. And just knowing that you have that horrible feeling of nausea and yeah. So cancer treatment is pretty hard. The chemo is pretty tough and especially that for me, Everything got more complicated. Every uh, side effect that they told me I could have, I ended up actually getting. I'm actually from an Indian background, so we eat a lot of spicy food. But the thing is, when you have sores in your mouth, you can't really handle all that. It's an experience. It's not the greatest experience. You feel a bit nauseous and all that, but it has to be done to try to help you. They're just trying to help you. It's because we did radiation therapy, they affected my growth, so I take growth hormone for it but that's pretty much it. <laughs> well, I started having hair loss and I lost a lot of weight and that was a really big issue for me because um, the doctors were always trying to bring my weight up. The major thing with her was nausea and, and pain. Um, most of the time she was on actually a pain pump, the PCA, to help manage with pain. And also she was on really high doses of uh, hydromorphone and to help pain management at home and in the hospital? Um, well, how I dealt with nausea, like they give you like prescription medication and they try to like find the best one. And the best way that I found really works is to make sure you take it on time. So if you're supposed to take it every eight hours, like make sure you take it every hours. Don't wait till you like feel like you're gonna vomit to take it because it doesn't really like work fast enough. So if you take it on time, you find that it works better and you feel less like you're going to vomit. It may seem overwhelming, it may seem frustrating sometimes, but there's a reason why you're given a certain treatment plan or a treatment protocol to deal with your kind of cancer diagnosis. When we send you home with chemotherapy drugs, you make sure you take it and you take it in the way that it's directed. But if we send you home with those medications and you don't take them as prescribed, the likelihood that you'll get some side effects that are quite unpleasant is a lot higher than if you're compliant with the drugs we prescribe. You're not alone and the side effects of, of cancer are most of them are temporary so you might be feeling bad now but hopefully when you're done your treatment you'll be feeling much better. Mm -hmm.